Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are doing a two bar non-penetrating snow retention system on a pre-painted standing seam steel roof. We're going to go over some installation practices, some prep practices uh, to help speed things up, maintain quality and overall a uh, good end result for our clients and uh, stay tuned and enjoy the video. You can see we have the blocks here. These go on the seams. They sit on the roof like so. You see this? Oh yeah, like so. These bolts pinch the seam. These little Allen keys pinch the seam. That's an option. Getting all of our pieces ready here. Lay these out, lay these out too. Just to see what we're dealing with here. Get a There's all the pieces. Uh, we uh, we basically just preload the pipe with our uh, with our blocks. Um, this allows us to bring the whole the whole contraption up there and uh, basically affix this to the seam. It lines everything up real nice, and then we can feed the, the second layer bar through after that's all done. So let's go to the roof. gets a clamp every seam, basically just lining them up where they're roughly going to go, and then we're going to measure up 20 inches. The way the seams are, they turn out to this side here. So our Allen key bolts have to go in and pinch on the seam this way. It's the beauty of this system is that the uh, there is no penetration through the, the surface of the metal. It's a non-penetrating system. And it is literally just going to get... Yes, I actually, I literally just said literally. Wow, that's disappointing. The... Uh, what happens is, is, if you can see this here, is the uh, the Allen key bolts will get screwed in and it pinches the seam here, and that's that's what does the that's what does the, uh, the majority of the work in this system. So we're just lining up that pencil seam at the bottom of our. Now hold on a sec here. Do we want to go top or bottom? Allen, bottom. You want bottom? Okay. Yeah, you guys hear that? 
Hold on a sec. You know what's gonna we're gonna have an issue here is getting these. Yeah. Cut. Cut. Redo. <laughs> So guys, please remember that these systems are engineered to that roof specifically. Our, um, our supplier does a takeoff based off of the specs given out by S5. So, and, and that's why they have a dealership um, capability. Um, they've gone through their process and they know all of the calculations. So. Um, based on location, geographical location, all of these uh, aspects come into play when designing these systems. So, um, you know, be sure to check with the manufacturer, be sure to give them the proper roof dimensions and uh, they will be able to design this uh, system specifically to that roof. Making sure I'll be your right. Here, when you're doing these bolts in, you can tip the seat a little bit like that so it exposes the head of this uh, Allen key a little bit better. You can get that screw in there without dragging along the painted surface of the roof. But yeah, once we have the first one set, we can go ahead and screw all the rest of them off. What I do is I just tip the seam. So we got these blocks set where we want and we're going to feed in that second pipe. Yeah, yeah. Please. They go very well with our standing seam metal roof uh, because they do not penetrate the surface of the metal. This is a very important factor in standing seam snow retention is that we are not penetrating the finished metal. Uh, this will help avoid a lot of future problems, uh, potential problems, potential leaks, potential premature rot, potential premature rusting. Uh, anytime you go and uh, puncture or uh, you know um, pierce that uh, finished uh, painted surface you open yourself up to a plethora of uh, potential issues
on this channel, we deal specifically with standing seam, so we're going to give you the best standing seam practices Top that we know of. Back to the blocks. The blocks is what uh, the uh, the company themselves, S5, actually has patented. Is these these blocks? That's what their uh, guess pride and joy is. So. Basically, the, the block itself has a threaded hole in the top that you can screw uh, snow stops to, you can screw um, solar panels to. I've, I've also used them for uh, support. Oh, sorry, buddy. I used them for support wires for uh, supporting long, like tall stacks. Yeah, they're pretty, pretty handy dandy thing. And, and again, they do not penetrate the the roof, so it's always a good thing. These these rings I'm installing now basically keep the uh, the pipe from, from moving on us once everything's installed. Next is the ice stops. Okay. A system like this isn't complete without the, uh, the ice flag itself. And uh, hopefully, y'all can see that. So, yeah, a bit. so, here's the ice flag. Like I was saying earlier, we have uh, this rubber pad, it sits, on, sits right on the panel itself. We center it. A little stainless steel Kelly screw goes right in over there using the using a nut driver you can get. Give it a shot. If it's a good uh, if it's a good stainless steel quality, you're not gonna it's not gonna stick to the magnet. So careful about that. Try this again. Hold my Yeah, and what that does is any any ice that forms in between the seams here, this is going to hold on to that. So, um, you can go ahead and put those in because I'm going to. What am I doing? <laughs> yeah, you're gonna you're gonna get I very hate, you're I gonna hate, be so excited to I, do them. I hate self touch on a round pipe. On a round pipe. Yeah, I can't even do it. In a <laughs> There you go. Nice system here. I'll bring you guys down. Have a look. Is it still recording? Yeah, it's still recording. Hey, Timmy, what's happening, brother? Oh, and Curtis, too. Don't forget about Curtis. What's up, yo? Yeah, there you go. Double rail system. Pre painted to match. Solid. Should hold a small car.
on this channel, we deal specifically with standing seam, so we're going to give you the best standing seam practices that we know of. And uh, again, leave a comment below. Uh, we'll also be putting links down below for some of the tools that we like to use and uh, to help you avoid having to you know, search the web for all of these things, you can just hit those links down below and it'll take you right there and uh, save you time and, uh, and energy. We've kind of done the shopping for you guys already. So uh, again, guys, thanks for watching. Please subscribe, hit the like button and uh, share this video with a friend. Uh, see you on the next video.